transformation in three, three two, two, one. Feeling stuck and looking for inspiration and motivation? Then our series, Daily Dose of Inspiration, is just what you need. Tune in for a few minutes every Monday and Wednesday and prepare to transform your mindset, boost your productivity, and unlock your true potential. This series is part of our groundbreaking tips program, packed with years of research, success stories, and proven techniques. We've condensed all this valuable information into bite-sized, actionable content that will leave you wanting more. What sets us apart? Join us each week and experience how Daily Dose of Inspiration can change your mindset and how you perceive the world. Trust us, your personal development journey will never be the same again. Ready to discover information that can be a game changer in transforming your life? Let's get started. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Did you know that contrary to popular belief, divorce rates for those over 40s have been steadily increasing in recent years? Uh-huh. This phenomenon, often called gray divorce, gray divorce, has reshaped what relationships look like in later life. My name is Claudette Estherine Campbell, and I am the president and chairperson of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. I'm also a trained chaplain and behavioral counselor. So much of our information and our content comes from that perspective. I'm also a woman over 40, well over 40. So um, whatever we share with you on this channel, which is for women over 40 and for women who who want to be empowered, this channel is for you. So today we're diving into a topic close to many hearts, how relationships really change after 40. Understanding these transformation is crucial for personal growth and fulfillment as we mature. Whether you're deepening an existing bond or existing relationship, or you're starting a new, Navigating relationships after 40 is a journey of adaptation and discovery. Are you ready to uncover the truth? Stay tuned because in the next few minutes, we're going to share some insights that could forever alter your romantic future. But be sure, this is not just about romantic relationships. It's about all types of relationships, although the focus is on romantic relationships. So hang tight and we'll get into it. As we cross the milestone of 40, our relationships encounter unique challenges with a heightened desire for deeper understanding and authenticity in relationships. Your priorities shift from career and raising children to personal fulfillment and enjoying life. This can affect relationship dynamics as you and your partner may have different visions of what you want. Many become more introspective, reflecting on their lives and the legacy they wish to leave. This can lead to existential discussions that may either strengthen the bond or highlight differences. And what are some of the physical changes? First, there are changes in libido. Hormonal changes such as menopause in women and decreased testosterone in men can affect libido. Adapting to these changes requires open communication and sometimes medical advice to maintain intimacy. Secondly, there are increased health concerns, like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and arthritis. They affect your lifestyle and mobility, which can strain the relationships. And three, you may have noticed a decrease in your energy levels, affecting how you spend time together with your partner. Activities and hobbies may need to be adjusted to accommodate these changes. As you are aging, you could be developing a deeper emotional connection. This phase can be marked by increased empathy, understanding, and a more profound appreciation for one another's company. There are some challenges, however, including ensuring that the deepening connection does not become stifling or overly dependent. Some couples struggle to maintain their individuality while growing closer. Developing personal hobbies or social circles outside the relationship can help to maintain a healthy balance between togetherness and individual growth. The physical changes due to aging can lead couples to redefine what intimacy means to them. Beyond sexual intimacy, this might evolve into more cuddling, hand-holding, or simple physical presence. What can you do should this happen? Openly communicate your needs and desires to your partner. 
Also, seek medical advice for physical issues. Counseling can also be beneficial to navigate emotions. Let's look briefly at the situation for those of you starting new relationships over 40. Your maturity and clarity about your own needs and boundaries can lead to more direct and honest communications from the start. Many over 40 are looking not just to date or hook up, but to find serious and meaningful connections. This can speed up the pace at which relationships become serious, compared to younger daters who might be exploring many options. What of the latest dating trends? How does that affect you as an older person stepping out on the dating scene? The rise of online dating platforms has significantly impacted how we all meet potential partners. Several apps and websites are catering specifically to the 40-plus crowd, focusing on interests and lifestyles that align more closely with our age group. Socially conscious dating ever heard of that? Many over 40 prefer partners who share similar societal and personal values. They are seeking a desire for deeper connections based on mutual respect and shared worldviews. Turning to your other relationship changes, specifically your friendships. You probably are experiencing shifts in friendship dynamics, including narrowing social circles and deepening of truly meaningful relationships. Here's what my friend, Gloria, has to say about friendships at this stage of her life. How did my friendships change after 40? My circle got very, very small and I learned quite clearly the definition or the difference between friends, associates, and acquaintances. There are many challenges and opportunities for you when it comes to communication shifts, sexuality and intimacy, independence versus companionship. For a real-life take on these, let's hear what my friends, Colleen and Gloria, have to share. Now, being independent in a relationship is good. It empowers you. On the other hand, try not to be too independent whereby you push away your partner, which will have you feeling lonely and disconnected. Why not strike a balance? Thereby, just throw a little companionship in it. Too much of anything is never good anyway. Independence and companionship is at the end of a pendulum. On one side you have independence, on the other side you have companionship. Why not try to meet halfway? You know, enjoy the independence, but have the luxury of someone who is always with you. And that person should always respect your boundaries. Sexuality when change that... after 40. For me personally, no. I am a <laughs> first sexual person. So it didn't affect me. I think um, sexuality is a result of hormonal changes. And I... There are many other strategies for maintaining, creating, or transforming your relationships as you age. We might have to do a part two on this topic, so stay tuned. So, having heard that, let's summarize what we discussed. We looked at how it is that your relationship changes once you hit that big 4-0. So we looked at how the need for authenticity in your relationship and more understanding impacts you. How, as you get to 40, the shift in your priorities and how that will impact your relationship and how some of you want to be more reflective, wanting more inner life than, you know, how you used to live before. We also look at the important issue of how the change in your libido and your sexual health will affect your relationships. We also looked at marriages and long-term partnership, the deepening of your emotional connections and the challenges with that deepening. And not to be left out, we looked at your friendships, how your friendships are impacted over the years. And the hot topic, dating trends, for people over 40, over 50, even over 60, especially us women. What do we do now with this information, now that we have this information? I want to encourage you to comment with your experiences or tips for managing relationships. Whoops. 
or tips for managing relationships at this stage of your life. Thank you so much for watching. And I encourage you please to subscribe for more insightful content. As I said, this channel is by women over 40, 50, 60, and we are sharing for other women, our sisters of the same age. So share your thoughts and let us get gray together. <laughs> so thanks and subscribe, like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next Transformation in three, three two, two, one. one.